This is a go-to place for all kinds of technical tips and tricks. Before you go, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Hello and thank you for joining me on Ladies of Tech. In this video, we're going to show you how to use desolder braid. What I'm going to use desolder braid for is to remove solder and a joint that I'm now taking off my board that I have here. And I'm going to show you how about you go to use this. The company that makes this here is ProWick. I had just purchased it from Digikey. So um, there's other companies that make it as well, but basically you do a search for desolder braid and you'll find that. So a couple things that I need in order to desolder, I always carry a pair of uh, little small side cutters, a pair of needle nose pliers. You can use desolder sucker if you need it, but the braid should get most of the solder there for you. And you need a good soldering iron, something that gets nice and hot so that that solder comes right up. So let's zoom in on this board and I'm going to show you how to go about using the braids. So the area that I want to remove the solder from is right here, this area. So in order to remove that solder using the braid, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to place the braid over top of the solder you want to remove. So we'll do that now. So the solder we want to remove is right here. And caution, this does get hot, okay? What happens is, is that the solder is going to get hot underneath of it and it's going to weep up through to the wick. You can kind of see, can you see how it's getting all silver there? It's hard to see in the video. But this wick now has taken up that solder. So we're going to finish up cleaning up that joint. But before I do that, I'm just going to cut off the end. Just like that, give me a nice, nice clean spot. And we'll go back in and we'll remove the rest of the solder. It's nice and hot. And it starts picking up that excess solder. And I'll even go in into the little holes here, just like that, to get out the excess inside those holes. Oh, and there it goes. It just picked up a bunch of solder again. I hope they can see the tinning. You can see that hole is now open. I'm going to move this down, and I'm going to do the next hole. So just as a caution, this copper little braid does get hot. So make sure you do not touch it with your hands. Put it right in there. I get that copper to weep up into the braid and there it goes and both those holes are now clean you can see and that concludes our little tutorial on how to use the desolder braid to remove solder thanks for joining me again any questions or comments please post them below i'd love to hear them thank you